We're here at the Turf Research Center to talk to you today about pre-emergence herbicide for your home lawn, particularly during the fall season. Now if you look out at your lawn this time of year, you might be able to see a few weed species that are, that are already established in the lawn. And, and odds are those are either perennial types or some sort of warm season annual weed. And at this time of the year, it's probably a little late to try to control those. So what we're really interested in are those weeds that are going to be germinating soon during the fall and into the early parts of winter. A pre-emergence herbicide is an effective option for several of these common winter weeds and they are designed, these pre-emergence herbicides are designed to be applied as the name would suggest prior to emergence of those weeds. So this time of year in, in say late August into September is an ideal time to make those applications and in hopes that we can keep our, our lawns weed free throughout the cooler months of the year. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you're dealing with a warm season lawn and we have no interest in overseeding with any kind of cool season species, then really we have a lot of options that, that can be used. However, if we're using, if we have a tall fescue lawn or some other cool season species, this is also an ideal time to reseed or kind of overseed into those and, and, and um, improve those stands. And if you're planning to do that, then you're going to have to delay pre-emergence applications until after those, those new plants have emerged. So some of the more common weed species you might see emerging in the fall include uh, annual bluegrass, henbit, Carolina geranium, and, and a list of, of many other broad leaves and a few grassy weeds that will readily germinate when, when the soil temperatures start to, to come down. And, and you'll have to look at specific products to determine uh, if, if they'll be effective against that particular weed species. For our grassy weeds, most of our yellow herbicides are very effective. These include prodiamine and pendimethalin and a few others that, that, that are readily available at most retailers. A lot of our broadleaf weeds, if they're not controlled by these, you might look at another product called isoxabin, but as is always the case, read the label carefully and be sure to follow all of its instructions. Now one point I want to be sure to, to, uh, to clarify is a lot of these plant species um, will be, can be controlled post-emergently as well, if that's a preferred approach, and in some cases plant species like henbit do have an attractive flower and you're not required to always uh, control these if in, indeed you think it's a, a, an important attribute for your landscape. So a lot of the pre-emergent herbicide products that are on the market focused on the, the consumer are going to be in a granular formulation, although there are certainly sprayable liquid formulations out there. When making an application, whether it's a sprayable application or a granular application, there are a few steps you want to, to be sure to follow. The first one is to uh, make sure you're applying it at the appropriate rate using a calibrated piece of equipment. The second is to make sure you're using, making a very uniform application. These products are intended to be applied in a broadcast manner across the entire lawn and create a protective barrier that prevents any of the weeds from germinating. And then the final step is to be sure to have either an irrigation system that can water in the product or maybe some timely rainfall that can activate it and get it into the soil where, where it'll be able to actually do its job. So when making an application with a granular product, you might use something like this broadcast rotary spreader pictured here. And as you're looking for the ideal product, you might see quite a few different options in your retailer. And so we've just brought a couple of them that we purchased locally. And, and what you might find is, is a product such as this that says weed preventer is going to have most likely a pre-emergence herbicide but you always want to check for the active ingredient to verify that. One thing I also want to point out about this product is it says crabgrass preventer. Now crabgrass is an annual grassy weed common for the warm season times of the year but this product will still be effective for this fall application at controlling a lot of your grassy weeds and a few of your broad leaves. You might also find products such as this that have, um, in this case, five or maybe more 
um, different herbicides in it and they might control a variety of weeds pre-emergently or post-emergently and, and in this case they may even have some fertilizer with it and so you want to be careful and make sure that indeed the products that you're applying are meant to control the weeds that you're after. And then finally I wanted to show another weed control product but this one here doesn't control pre-emergently it only controls post-emergently and so a lot of our weeds that we'll see in this cool time of year are what we call annual broadleaf weeds and a product such as this has several herbicides like 2,4-D, dicamba, and mecoprop, and they're very effective in a post-emerge application, but until those weeds emerge, this product will not be very effective. So if you're looking for a weed-free lawn throughout the fall and winter months of the year, pre-emergence herbicides might be a good option. If, if you're going to make that application, now's the time to do it. Late August and into September will give you two to three months of control. After that time, you might consider making a follow-up application, maybe somewhere around February. And that should help pick up, uh, again, some of those cool season weeds that are germinating late, as well as prepare you for the summer and some of those warm season annual weeds. As a final note, I just want to remind everyone that only you can decide what's right for your lawn, and in some cases, you may not want to try to use a chemical application to control cool season weeds. Some of them can have very attractive flowers, and it's certainly up to you if you want to make that choice. For more information, you can check out the Oklahoma State website. We have a lawn calendar and a number of informationals about weed control in your lawn. hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion. Mm -hmm.